Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. G Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home I'm your host Mr. G and today's really special because it's Thanksgiving and this is Mr. G's Thanksgiving special that's right a do try this at home special first time I've done that huh well I kinda had a Halloween special I guess but it really wasn't that special but this is really gonna be cool because I'm sitting here with a couple of my puppies on my couch I'm still kind of in my PJs it's real early in the morning and I'm gonna give you not one not two but three things to keep you from being bored this Thanksgiving day because what are you going to do? You're going to sit around what? Your Aunt Minnie's house with absolutely nothing to do. She has no video games. She has nothing great to watch on TV. Yeah, football's on, but by the time it's on, you've already eaten Thanksgiving Day dinner and you're so daggone tired, you can't keep your eyes open. So, this time, I'm going to keep everybody's eyes open. You're going to show everybody in the family not one, not two, but three incredible things that you can do with completely, when I say completely ordinary household items. These are so ordinary, they'll be at everybody's Thanksgiving Day dinner. So let's not delay. Come on, let's get started. Okay, I told you that all of these tricks that you're going to be doing this Thanksgiving are going to be really easy and they're going to be really impressive too. Here I've got a bottle, or this time it's a, it's a vase, and I've got an egg. And the egg will not fit into the bottle, as we can see. This is a hard-boiled egg. Now, it's been peeled, of course. Now, what you're going to do is, you're going to take your milk bottle or your, or your vase like I've got here and you're going to build a little fire in it. What we're going to do is we're going to light a napkin on fire. Make sure you're careful. Drop that down in there and then set your egg right on top. Poof! It pops right into the bottle. Wow! That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Another way to do the egg in the bottle trick, again, the egg does not fit into this vase. Even if I pushed on it, it would be hard to get it in there without breaking the egg. Now this egg has been a little broken, a little messed up because we did this trick with the, with the burned paper. But now, we're going to take some boiling water and drop it down into the, into the jar here. Now we're going to take that and stir it around a little bit so the air in the jar gets hot. Now watch. As the air inside of the vase cools, air pressure drops. And the air pressure outside the vase is greater. So the air pressure outside is pushing the egg into the vase right in through the opening that's too small for the egg. So if you're not allowed to make a fire in the kitchen with some napkins and you want to keep the egg nice and clean so you can eat it later, here goes. A little bit of boiling water will do the trick. Let's see if that gets all the way in there. Plop! There it went. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how I got the egg out of the bottle the first time with it not breaking too badly. Well, basically, what I did is I I took the egg, and this time I dumped out that hot water. I took the egg so that it was in the mouth of the bottle upside down like this. Then you simply blow into the bottle like this, creating a lot of pressure. And the egg, as you can see, is trying to pop out of the bottle. Now I had to help it a little bit because this is not really just like a milk bottle. So I gave it a hit and it popped right out. You even heard the popping sound. So yes, you can get the egg back out of the bottle by blowing hard into it with the egg covering the opening, creating pressure inside of the bottle or the milk jug or the vase like I used. It'll pop the egg right back out. Here's another cool trick you can do this Thanksgiving. All you need are some toothpicks. I'm using round toothpicks. However, flat toothpicks tend to work a little bit better. We'll see if we can get this to work with round. Break your toothpicks in half and then you don't want them to come apart and then lay them on the center of a paper or a wax paper plate. That one didn't break very well. Have some spare toothpicks in case they don't break well like my last one there. And you want them to lay in the paper plate so that all the centers of them are touching so that it looks something like, well that one's kind of got a little piece of wood sticking out. We'll get a different one. So that you've got all their centers touching so that you've got something that looks like this. Got just two more to go. That one didn't break well. We'll go again. That's not bad. You know, you don't want them to come apart and you want them to break nice and cleanly like this. Now, what you're going to end up with here is you're going to end up with a sort of a starf configuration that's got like points on it, as you can see here. There we go. There you have it. Now, let's make the magic begin. We're going to take a few drops of water 
and we're going to place it right in the center of our star here and watch what happens. The star begins to transform as if it were just magic. Add a little bit more water here. There we go. And look at this. The pattern will open up. Now this will happen faster with flat toothpicks. However, if I leave this sit here, it'll continue to open up all on its own and form a real nice holiday star configuration. Just let it sit there and it'll continue to open up. And you can add a little bit more water in the middle if you want, like that. Because what's happening is the capillary action in the wood is making the toothpicks want to return to their original shape. They're kind of repairing themselves, if you will. Again, flat toothpicks are more impressive. However, round toothpicks, as you can see here, do work. Here's another really cool trick for this holiday season. You might even be able to win some money on this. First of all, take a nice holiday candle and pour some wax onto a piece of aluminum foil. Now, we want to use aluminum foil for safety's sake. The next thing you're going to do is you want to set a stick match into the wax so that it dries and lifts the stick match up like that and makes it so that it stays raised. Next you're going to take a penny, just an ordinary penny, or you can use a quarter, nickel, it doesn't matter, a coin. And you're going to take another stick match and you're going to challenge somebody in this particular setup. What you want to do is you want to get this set up now and they can watch you do this. This is, um, makes it even more amazing to them once you uh, actually do the trick. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this match like this. And this is the hardest part, getting it set up. And we're going to lean it like that. Whoops, didn't work. Try again. We're going to lean it like that against the first match and so that it's leaning onto the penny. Now you're going to say, I can remove that penny without knocking that match over. And they're going to be like, absolutely no way you're going to do this. Take a third match, strike it, and light these two. Now watch the magic begin. This may take just a few moments here, but watch. This is a very cool trick. It's one of my favorites. Watch this. Pay particular attention to the match on the right. Now, look at the match on the right. It has lifted off of the penny. There's no, it's not actually touching the penny at all. So once that happens, blow them out and reach in and slide out your penny. Didn't knock over the match, you win the money. Pretty awesome. Thanks for watching the Do Try This at Home Thanksgiving Day Special. Got to get off to the kitchen and help Cindy cook our big Thanksgiving Day feast. We don't eat turkey because, well, we're pescatarians. That's a person that eats meat, but no land-dwelling animals, just seafood. So we're going to have scallops and shrimp. We're going to have mashed potatoes and corn and possibly some dinner rolls. So I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. And I want to see everybody out there at the Black Friday sales tomorrow, bright and early like myself. I'll be out probably about 3 a.m. getting started shopping. I do a lot of my shopping on Black Friday because I just like the excitement of the big crowds and all the crazy people that are running around like maniacs. It's a lot of fun, i got to tell you. Hey, listen, why don't you stop over at Mindless Mirth, M-I-N-D-L-E-S-S-M-I-R-T-H dot com. I'll tell you why. Last Thursday, I posted a Thanksgiving Day quiz, and it's a lot of fun. And there's great posts between last Thursday and even a post for today. So, everybody, go check out the blog. I'm Mr. G. See you next time on Do Try This at Home. There. That good? What are you so nervous about? Okay, go. Go lay down. Okay, one thing that you can do that's a lot of fun is change the battery on your camera. Great. Out of juice. No, that's stupid. Kitty, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, cat. You're moving the camera. Kitty. Oh, man. Wow. This is crazy. Okay, we're going to try this again. That's all for today's Do Try This at Home Thanksgiving Day Special. I've got to get in the kitchen and start cooking our Thanksgiving Day feast, or at least, at least help Cindy there. Thanks for watching today's Thanksgiving Day Do Try This at Home Special. 
I've got to get in the kitchen and help Cindy cook our Thanksgiving Day dinner. We're going to have mashed potato. That's stupid. We're going to have scallops and shrimp, corn, mashed potatoes and granite corn. Boy, oh, this is going nowhere.